Hey, this is how I wear blue or green eyeshadow with blue or green eyes. This is a request. I choose shades that match colors in my eyes and I go for a bold look. I really like the way it turned out here. So I'm using these awesome rainbow palettes and starting out with a good foundation. As per every good look is a good foundation, you know? So first I apply it with my foundation brush, just a regular type one, and then I like to buff it into the skin and give it a really nice, natural, um, less obvious look. I'm using a clean brush here. So next I like to conceal what needs to be concealed afterwards. I'm using this MAC one, and also using it as a highlighter. I'm using a Real Techniques um, brush here to blend it in, and it works great for concealer, it's pretty much all I use it for. And buffing it in with my clean fluffy brush, it's going to blend the two products together and look really seamless and awesome. Next I'm setting it with a powder, doing the eyes first because they crease so quickly, and then the rest of my face. I like a really matte finish, so I actually powder quite a bit, many layers. <laughs> I'm using this white eye pencil as a base. It's going to make my eyeshadows look really intense and pretty much their very best. If you ever have some crappy eyeshadows you want to wear, try it with a white pencil underneath and uh, see if it helps. So I'm starting with my darker shade, which is this pearly blue color, and applying it with a smaller brush so I have really good precision and control over where it goes. I want this look to be very tidy and not super smoky or blurry. Next, the green color. I'm patting it all over the lid, leaving the inner corner open. And I'm just sort of going to pull that color over that blue line a bit. And taking both colors under the eye as well. And I'm using a clean brush and just gently going over the edges. It's just going to sort of push the shade into the skin and look a little bit nicer, but not too blendy or blurry or smudgy or anything. Still very tidy. And I'm using a fan brush to get rid of fallout. And this Q-tip here is going to clean up my look. I want it to be very precise. I really like that pointy cat eye shape I've got going on. My highlighter is this nice white shade and I'm doing the inner corner and under the brow bone, just the usual places. It's going to brighten up the eyes and bring a little more life to the look. And with this mid-tone brown, I'm going to put it over top of the green and blue colors, but I'm not blending them together. It's just a transition color. It's going to give some depth to our look. The black liner in this really finishes off the eye in a nice way and adds a lot of drama to the lash line. There we go. And I always correct my waterline. I'm... I, I just can't live without it. I do it every time. Every day, basically. And here I am concealing under the eyes one more time. After the shadow, it really cleans it up nicely and makes it look absolutely perfect. And it's mascara time! And top and bottom and lots and lots of mascara. And if you like, you can do falsies. This is the finished eyes. Let's move on to the rest of the face. So I'm powdering that concealer that we just reapplied. And we're rocking out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my eyebrows here. I think for every strong eye look that you have, you need to have strong eyebrows. It's important to do both. So I'm contouring because I applied a full foundation. I need to bring some dimension back into my face. 
and I just love contouring. It really just looks so great on the skin and uh, helps to sharpen up our features, which is kind of the whole point of makeup, really. Bringing out your features. Continuing on, I like to do around the forehead. And now I'm blending it with a clean brush. Next I'm using this shimmery peachy pink beautiful blush. I just love blush. Look at how awesome that is. This one's from e.l.f. It's part of their duo. I really like it. Oh yes, suddenly I look healthy. This lipstick I'm using is number 14 from the Kate Moss line in the Rimmel brand and I really like it. It's a great neutral and it smells good, the packaging's cute. I'm adding some pink gloss on top to give it more dimension and look a little more natural and you know, nice. So here's the finished look. I super like this. It's cute. I want to wear it out. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.